Hey everyone, Cheapos here, bringing you my Hyundai A-League fixture preview for the fixtures of week 11. That is right, it's week 11 already, nearly a third of the way through the season. Let's get into things. So the first game of the weekend sees Newcastle Jets take on Adelaide United. Now Adelaide United have managed to find some form in the recent weeks and seen them push higher up the table. But Newcastle Jets last weekend smashed 4-0 by Melbourne City. So Newcastle and Adelaide both lower down the table, both in very different positions. You know, Newcastle are quite lucky. They welcome back Nigel Bogart and they welcome Cooper and Lundy to the first team. But Lee Key is unavailable for the fixture. So a bit of a loss there. And Adelaide United welcome Malik and Babelge to the first team. They have no apparent out, so Adelaide United should be able to field the same team as last weekend. Newcastle are welcoming Bogard back, which would be a big boost for them, but uh, I don't think it's going to be enough for Newcastle. You know, Adelaide finding some form. It's about time they found some form, and Newcastle struggling. Don't get me wrong, they've done very well so far this season. Uh, they started very well, but I think they need to change the way they play. And they need to... Look, look with a different approach and surprise teams because at the moment they're a bit predictable. So I can see Adelaide United winning this match 2-0. Now the second game of the weekend sees Wellington Phoenix take on Sydney FC. Now both teams failed to pick up wins last weekend and they'll both want to redeem themselves. But both teams currently sit in the middle of the table. Wellington sit in 6th, Sydney FC sit in 5th. So it's a middle of the table clash. Wellington welcomed Donoskos, Apaya, and of course a Vince Lear to the first team squad while Gully and Sigmund are out injured. So obviously Sigmund is still out. That's a huge loss for Wellington. Will they be able to survive the onslaught of Sydney FC? I think they will. Sydney FC welcomes Stambolzev, Hull, and Kelvar to the first team squad while Gersbash is obviously suspended for the week after his shocking tackle last weekend. And Brosk is also unavailable for the fixture as well. So I can see this game being quite a close affair. As I said, both teams are mid-table. I think it's going to represent that in this game. I think it's going to end up in a scoring one all draw. Now, the third game of the weekend sees Melbourne City take on my team Melbourne Victory the second Melbourne derby of the season. So the quick thing we need to talk about, Melbourne victory obviously lost to Perth Glory midweek. Now this came as quite a shock to me. It's quite a surprise. How did we lose to Perth Glory? I don't know. Well, I've seen the goal. It was it was a tap in. Don't get me wrong. It was it was a tap in. How we're how we're defending so poorly this season I don't understand. And coming up against Melbourne City, they're in a fine form. They backed 14 goals in three games. Our defence can't be this leaky in this fixture. Otherwise, you know, you may as well kiss our hopes goodbye of the title. If Melbourne City get the three points this weekend, even if Western Sydney get the three points this weekend, we are really going to struggle for the title challenge this season. So, as I said... Melbourne victory, loss against Perth Glory, makes it three losses in a row. The first time this is happening, God knows how long. And Kevin Muscat, I hope you turn your, your your problems around because I know we expect quite quite a bit of Melbourne victory, but oh, we we got to see silverware. We, we've obviously won the FFA Cup, congratulations, but we, we, we want to finish top of the table. We need that Premier's plate. It would be excellent for us, but... Melbourne City welcome Hughes, Espindola and Miller to the first team squad while Chapman is out for two to three months with a knee injury. So whether that's a big loss for them, I don't, re I don't really know because they're playing so well at the moment anyway. Do they really need him? As long as Aaron Moy and Fornaroli and Nevillo are all playing well, then that's all Melbourne City need. Melbourne victory without Captain Carl Valeri. I'm not sure if I've already covered this, but he's seriously ill at the moment. He is undergoing scans. He might never play again. Now that's terrible, and my thoughts do go out to Carl Valeria. I've seen a lot of uh, fans on the SBS Facebook page saying that uh, everyone has their thoughts out to Carl Valeria at the moment. It's shocking to hear, and 
hopefully he can get better soon. So rest up, Carl. Big, big old captain, Carl. Hopefully you can get better soon. But George Howard has been a minute from the squad. I guess he's just not performing. No, I, I, George Howard's supposed to be a young prospect. He's not doing very well. But uh, no, well, we will move on. Del Pierre and Deng are welcomed back to the first team. It's good to see those two back. But the big name this weekend is Archie Thompson. He is back. Archie Thompson is from the same region in Australia where I'm from. So Archie Thompson is back. The record goal scorer in the A-League makes his return to the first team. Now, whether he plays a full game or not, I highly doubt it. He's just coming back from injury. But having Archie back is going to be good. But although we have Archie back, I don't think our fortunes are looking good because Melbourne City are that good at the moment. I think we're going to struggle. So... Unfortunately, I can see Melbourne City winning the bragging rights in the Melbourne Derby, and I can see them winning this result 2-1. Now, the fourth game of the weekend that sees Perth Glory take on Western Sydney Wanderers. Now, Perth Glory have won their last two fixtures and are finding a bit of form, but they come up against a dominant Western Sydney Wanderers who have won their last seven in a row. Now, Western Sydney Wanderers, complete turnaround. I talk about this every week. Oh my god, are they going to do it again this week? I think so. Golek and Gligo are welcome back to the first team for Perth Glory. Well, they have no apparent outs, so that's good for Perth. No apparent outs. So there should be no outs from the squad from last weekend and no, out, uh, no outs from the squad midweek. So tiredness could come into effect. And they're playing against Western Sydney Wanderers. So it's not looking good for Perth, but Western Sydney Wanderers welcome Pia Vakari and Aspropotamus to the first team squad. Well, they also have no apparent out. So Western Sydney versus Perth Glory, both teams should field their full strength side. It should be a good clash, but Western Sydney Wanderers, team to beat this season, I'm calling it now. They're going to win this result 3-0. And the final game of the weekend, see so Central Coast Mariners take on Brisbane Raw. Now, Central Coast haven't won since the opening day of the season. And Brisbane Raw are pushing for the title this season. I believe they sit in second place on the ladder. Now, Central Coast welcome some depth back to the first team. They welcome Pos Poscoliero, McGing, and Berry to the first team, while Adelson, Trafiro, and Ferreira are all unavailable for the fixture. So Trafiro and Ferreira, still big losses for Central Coast. So unfortunate for them. But on the other hand, Brisbane Raw welcome Corey Brown. And they welcome back Brandon Borello to the first team. So another big first team member back for Brisbane Raw. And they also have no apparent outs like some of the other clubs I've already spoken about. But Brisbane Raw, they managed to beat Wellington Phoenix last week. They did start quite poorly. They really pulled it back in the second half. John Aloisi, I think he knows what he's doing at Brisbane Raw. I think Central Coast are struggling, or I know they're struggling. I think they couldn't buy a win at the moment. It looks like they couldn't buy a win. And uh, I really can't see them beating Brisbane Raw. Brisbane Raw, second. Central Coast, 10th. Brisbane Raw under Aloisi, being very good. So it's going to be a Brisbane Raw win. And the final score is going to be 2-0. They are my predictions for the fixtures of Week 11. Make sure you leave your predictions down in the comments section below. Let me know who you think is going to win this weekend. And tell me, do you think Western Sydney Wanderers are going to make it eight in a row? And do you th who do you think is going to win the Melbourne Derby? Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you want to see some more Hyundai A-League content. And I'll catch you guys on another video.